where's my calendar? That's what I was going to do to see what day what it was. Okay, well, yesterday was the 29th, so today's the 30th. Right? And then, yeah, today's the 30th. Okay. Um, getting ready to do morning inspiration, affirmation thingies. Um, I forgot Skylar wanted to start this video. And then I just kind of took over. I'm pretty much like Skyla. You know, the norm. Normal voice talking on an everyday basis. <clears throat> so we got up this morning, took our puppy out, took a shower, put our dishes in the dishwasher finally. Um, I am going to admit, though, I never, I don't like medicine. Still don't. However, I am on it now and have to be for many reasons, which is fine. Until I can continue smoking pot every day of my life when I actually move somewhere where pot's illegal. Um, but, weird thing, I, I feel like it actually kind of helps. At least I know, like, uh, uh, immediate release. What are you barking at? Why are you barking at me? Get down. Thank you. Um, immediate release anxiety meds work, of course. We love Xanax, but we can't do it because we love it too much. Um, and ADD medicine, like Adderall and stuff, that actually helps. Never knew that it would. Um, <clears throat> we just got some new markers <coughs> so we could color. <coughs> Do you hear my dog barking? I think he barks every time I make a video just to like bark and be like, yo, I'm here. You better not be barking because you got to go poop. I took you out already. If I have to take you out again, I will, but I'm making a video right now, so you got to chill. Okay, he's playing with this big animal, lamb now. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we got markers so that we could color because we were using our colored markers that we write with in the morning and those were going out and those were super expensive. So, have to, that was weird. That was a burp. Don't know why. Um, yeah, so we're coloring a little bit now. Mm. Black prootic prootic probiotic black probiotic tea is in here this morning and sweet tangerine but the the black probiotic tea is very very strong almost need two tangerines up in there or squeeze some lemon or something um yeah so Morning randomness. It's just random. Uh, we talked to our boss yesterday because we were like completely out of money and didn't wouldn't really even be able to make it to work without some gas. Are you chewing on that cord again? No. This will electrocute you and you will die. No. You play with this. It's a toy. Go get it. He didn't go get it. We're learning fetch and release and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. So, we needed some money and our boss paid us like half our paycheck or whatever. So, that was awesome. And we were able to get our markers and fill our car up and get some more vape juice. And I actually thought that... Our phone bill was due, so we put some money aside for that. It turns out it's not due quite just yet, so we were like, yay, we get to buy our markers with that leftover money, and then we are actually going to try to save the rest, which we have a $10 bill, 
and we are going to spend that on McDonald's this morning. Uh, that's okay because still I don't feel like cooking, but yesterday I go into the store to pick up meds and markers. I actually went grocery shopping so that we can start eating again. Um, and the holidays are almost over, so that's good. And we got our anxiety meds in and our ADD meds in, so that always helps too. We can eat. You know, we remember to eat or we can't eat whenever we have that because it, you know, I mean, it helps us get out of our head a little bit or at least be able to deal with what's in our head and deal with life and going to work and life and, you know, taking responsibilities and taking care of shit and life and, you know, we've got on our bat ears today, lace again. Partly because we put them in our purse in case we wanted to take off our beanie hat yesterday. But we didn't. We forgot that our bat ears were in there. So we put them on this morning. And our sparkly ones and different ones are in our closet. Which we didn't feel like going and get. So... Yeah... Got that going on. We are trying to get in touch with the family to see if we can get to see our daughter for the new year, which I'm pretty sure I'll put in another video, but it's another day, so we're just remembering it again. Tried calling yesterday, no answer. We're going to try calling again today. Hopefully somebody will answer. So we have this problem when we go to the store and we pick up something. We don't necessarily read it because we have ADD and we're just like we need to get what we get and then get the fuck out of this store because it's driving us crazy and there's too many people um so we got these markers and we realized that they were fine tip which is great but it's a little hard to color big spaces with so I don't know if we need those fat kind or actually what markers will be perfect so we're still finding that out and playing like um not playing um experimenting get trying one and then if it doesn't work we're gonna go do something else next time what is that called i don't know i thought there was a name for it but maybe there's not um wanting randomness take a sip of tea Yeah, we said that right. We didn't say it backwards. Good. It's raining outside. Yeah, so we've got to wear something like with a hood so we can, or a hat. We might wear a hat today to protect our glasses from getting wet. Walking through what we got to do back and forth outside. Um... I don't know what else for morning randomness. I, I did have a story time that I wanted to share, or that we wanted to share, excuse me. But um, I forgot what it was. So we can't do story time because we forgot what we wanted to say at story time. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say. We kind of feel like all the deals are coming back a little bit. Because we had said before in an earlier video that like, you know, talking to the family had really triggered us a lot and hurt us. So the littles just completely like went away. Like they were like flabbergasted and like just shocked that the words were said like that and we got so hurt but again the littles have just awakened you know within the last couple of months since we've been in the hospital I'm trying to color this small part so 
they are actually not used to how our family is they got to experience that and they're experiencing that for the first time and it's a lot especially 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 for littles you know it's like they're still stuck like samantha and stephanie okay they're stuck at age nine so <clears throat> for them to have gone dormant and then awaken again it's like they forgot why they were here to help us deal with our family and so it was like first time again getting shut down and talked to you like a child again you know you can't do this certain thing with your own child like i can't we can't we can't call her if she wants to talk to us she has to call us we can't call her and our parents said that because they have custody of her so you know we have to follow through um, obey them, um, yeah, so they were really hurt because they forgot and they went back, but now that we've got our medicine and stuff and, you know, we've made it through the holidays, um, I believe they're starting to come back more to the front to be there to help us so we are very very excited about that <clears throat> i think i had already said that emily rose found she got she grew she can grow to be what 17 18 17 or 18 i'll say she's 17 but she likes to put in that also 18 just so she'll be like legal to go to these places with us you know uh, it's kind of like <clears throat> You know, if a child wants to experience going to a bar safely or something, you know, of how to deal with not going somewhere for the first time and making mistakes, like, I would have, I still hope to get our daughter back and when she turns, you know, those teenage years that if she wants to do something as far as, like, come to the bar with us and play pool or she wants to smoke weed for the first time or she just heard about you know one of her friends <coughs> ask her to do like try this drug or something you know we can be like well I mean if you really want to do it here at home with us we can monitor and it'll be okay and you know if you get freaked out or paranoid we can help you calm calm down from it and how to handle the drug or whatever try you know when my daughter is ready to try alcohol for the first time in her teen years you know do it at home in a safe place you want to experience a bar for the first time see how it is we would definitely go to our favorite place <clears throat> Wajin Cajuns which is a pool hall we've got a ton of pool tables or like maybe like just eight of them I don't know um and like a small little bar area so, you know, we want to be one of those awesome, open, cool parents, but still have the respect of our child that they're not afraid to come to you with questions or they're wondering about something, you know, like we've always developed with Callie, our daughter, that talking relationship, like talk about whatever. We've even told her, you know, growing up, she's six now. We haven't had it in a year, actually, so up until she was five. You know, we told her any time, like, baby girl, if you ever need to talk to mommy about something, I don't care what it is. Like, I will listen to you and try to answer you and help you the best way that I can. Like, I'm not going to judge you or shut you down for any questions that you might have about anything and like I said we will try to answer it as best we could so we're hoping that we'll get her back soon or whenever the right time is that the universe has that for us and we can grow with her and see her grow and be in her life through those teenage years so that she does get that age you know she won't be afraid she can face the world and be ready Yeah, 
Well, story time, I guess, about our daughter. And our family, who's just so messed up. Like, okay, let me see if I can just hold the phone while I color this one part. So, we actually got to talk to our, our psychiatrist, you know, who like writes out our medications and stuff. And we're switching some things and getting it you know trying to figure it out and stuff but we told her she's kind of like our counselor also because we don't have a counselor at the moment you know and other than that friends are good but we told her like what happened at Christmas and stuff and how our family was acting and she was just like I don't want to say crazy but that is just crazy that your family is like that and that they would do that and she was like I can't believe they would do that on purpose you know and I was like actually I don't think you, how the fuck did you get a necklace? No, where did you get that? Did it fall? Oh, fuck, it broke. All right, look, people. This is getting crazy. We got all of most of our jewelry from, you know, Walmart. And it doesn't stay. They keep fucking breaking. So, apparently, we need to go save up the money and get, uh, I guess real jewelry like not the fake shit it's ridiculous oh, i forgot where i was coloring now um but yeah so we told our psychologist psychiatrist about it and she was just like that is insane oh yeah because she was like thinking that they were doing this stuff on purpose and i was like i don't really think it's on purpose but subconsciously, if they're doing what they did, <laughs> my family is really fucked up. Really fucked up. Like, no wonder why I, we, have DID to deal with a fucked up family that they don't even know that they're fucked up. It's just in their subconscious that they do these things. And it's like, you know, our mother taught us think before you act or say something so you know you don't hurt someone's feelings or something like that and <clears throat> so we have and it's like all right you taught us that why can't you hear your own words and listen and apply that to your own life like to you to yourself And we're just, we're blown away by how many times our family can do stuff and just how they are. And we shouldn't be surprised, but it like, it shocks us every time because it's something different every time or we don't know if it was worse than the last time they did something or if it's just like, fuck, you know, they did it again. And we're just shocked that it just keeps happening. But... I don't know. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna go through it and deal with it the best that we can and one day, someday, some way, somehow, who, what, when, where, how and why, we're gonna get our daughter back. And it's gonna be great and it's gonna be like she never left, you know. We're gonna pick up our relationship right where it started off, which is gonna be fantastic. Um Yeah, I'm coloring, so that's kind of helping, like, when we dissociate, but I still can't think of anything else. I don't know. Oh, Blair wants to mention that even though we don't really know fully what she sounds like or how she sounds when she's fully out, but she kind of, her and Skylar are buddies. So, she'll kind of, you know, she'll come out with Skylar or with Skylar kind of in the background and she'll use Skylar's voice to come through. And also, speaking of, like, Blair, we, she's been screaming at us to do, like, more witchy research and to get more books and to actually start reading them, which we have a big problem doing, but we might just have to, like, read it and take notes how we do with normal school like 
when we read something even for fun, we both just might have to do it and treat it like it's school, which we do can't wait for this COVID shit to go away so that we can go back to school. We really want that, like, big time. So, yeah, there's that. Why do you keep going to the fucking cord to chew on it? I don't understand. Um... But yeah, alright, it's been a 20 minute video, so my phone hasn't cut us off yet, so that's good. So, we're probably going to end it here. Um, I hope we, hello, Heartspot System, you have a wonderful, great day and make it through. Deal with things the best you can. Stay calm, stay positive, stay smiling, how we always normally are. Stop it! Ah! No, ah, don't make me come over. Don't make me come over there. Stop it. No. Ah, don't do it. Okay, you're done. All right, cool. Anyway, yeah, we're going to end it here. So, peace out from Hotspot System. We'll see you later. We're drinking our tea. We're fixing to do our, I just realized I haven't. smoked in a while um we're gonna do our morning affirmation and inspiration stuff and try to figure out how we're gonna fix our necklace cheap old shit from walmart it just keeps fucking breaking i don't understand why but you know it's all right so 21 minutes now almost 22 and we're gonna say bye for like the third time it must have been three because three popped up on my fingers so peace out hotspot system love you all Meaning all of us, and like we say, if anybody ever watches these videos, we love you too. So, bye. That that didn't really send it to you. Hold on. There we go. All right, now I sent it. All right.